the polls were way off in 2016, right? Well, no, they weren't. And I've got the receipts to prove it. But before we dive into the geeky stuff, let's get this right out of the way. This series is meant to help you better understand polling. It is in no way an endorsement of any candidate, an analysis of any candidate, or a prediction of the outcome of the 2020 election. So don't email me or tweet me. I do not care who you're voting for. There are plenty of other places to have that conversation, especially online. All right, back to 2016. The public perception from both sides of the aisle is that the polls greatly underestimated Donald Trump and overestimated Hillary Clinton. But was that really the case statistically? Let's start with this article from the website 538. If you aren't familiar with 538, it's a site that focuses on poll analysis, politics, economics, and sports. The article, timestamped four days before the election, is titled, Trump is just a normal polling error behind Clinton. In the article, they point out that in 2008, Barack Obama was projected to win by 1.2%, but ended up winning by 3.9%. That was a 2.7% error. It's been a while, so just to refresh everyone's memory, Hillary Clinton was polling with a 3.3 nationwide lead in the final weeks of the election. So, if the polling in 2016 was off by a similar margin compared to 2008, Donald Trump could win the election. And of course, he did. But that polling error was easily within standard margins of error for other presidential contests. In fact, since 1972, polls in the final 21 days of a presidential election have missed the actual result by an average of 4.6 percentage points, almost exactly matching the 4.8% error of 2016. That number averages both national polling error and state level error. In 2016, the state level error was larger than the national error, which turned out to be crucial due to the Electoral College. The national polling was actually exceptionally good. Clinton had a 3.3 lead and ended up winning the popular vote by 2.1. Not only was the polling error average compared to past elections, it's important to note that from year to year, there has been no systematic slant in polling errors. Some years, polls underestimate Republican support, other years, they underestimate Democrats. Here's a chart of the polling error since 1998 based on party. Some years it overshoots Republicans, others Democrats, and that's how good polling should work. The error should be random. We'll get more into that in a later segment. So why did so many people think Hillary was a lock? Well, that's where understanding how to interpret probability becomes absolutely key. That and more in our next episode.